So I made the something somehow I made it like this one. So colors, you can just put it yourself that one. Now what I'll do is before you start anything, or let's yeah, let's do the joining this one. When I join again this one, you need to take a straight through cable. So join it. Now when you join routers with this one, guys, you know I will prefer you to join with the fast Ethernet ones. Okay. Oh, and yes, one more thing, guys. You know what the thing is? I'll tell you. Um, okay. Uh, if you just select any wires and you want to cancel it, you can click on this one. Okay? And you can cancel it. Why did you cover the router? So, we can cover the department. The department. Show you the department. This is showing you that this is... This one. This is Buddha. No, they are saying that because you, you cover oh, the whole team, this yeah. one you didn't cover. It was yeah. Yeah. If you want, you can increase it. I don't mind it. I can bring it here to color cover it. It's up to you. You're understanding it. Yes. Now, what I mean to say is, you know, these uh, routers, by default, they have only two ports. But yeah. I need how many ports? Six ports, isn't it? So what I'll do is, I'll show you, click on this one, this one, cross sign, and delete, and say no, and delete this. More then come back here. You now want a more ports one. So click on the this uh, corner one. You will see there is a generic router, guys. Yeah. I know you can't see from here. Generic. There's a generic. There's two generic. Take the second generic, not the first generic. Okay. So take the first second generic. Remember always second one. Okay. When you take the second generic, click go click on that one. Now when you click on that one, I need to add the ports here. Generic meaning it doesn't have ports. You can add the ports. You understanding it? Generate. So yeah, uh, generic means like general one. Generate. Like. So you first this is green in color. You switch off the, you click here to switch off the router. You understanding it? So once since the green one goes off, you take the third slot here. You know this third slot. If you click on the third slot, the said the third slot is about the fast Ethernet. Either you take the third slot, guys, or take the fourth slot. Whichever you take it. So let's say if I take the fourth slot, let me take the fourth slot. Okay, let me take the fourth slot. Go on adding it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six departments is enough, isn't it? If you have more department, you can have it more. Okay, I can keep extra one. And once you have added all the ports, switch it on. Just click it, switch it on. Are you understanding it? And then come back here. Now once you come back here, Click on the wire, we will join this wire, take a straight through cable. When you join the router to the cable, join with a far gigabit port, guys, which will allow you to have a faster network. So gigabit port to what? Zero, gigabit zero, zero by zero. Are you understanding it? See, that's show you all the ports. Now first, if you don't add it, they won't show you all this thing. So I'll add this port. Now see, by default, it is red in color. You understanding why? Because by default, the router port is what? Off. And that's why this is also what? Off. So like that, let's add more from here to take what? Gigabit port to what? One by zero. Then you join what? Gigabit port to... So I'm going in and anti-clockwise. You understand? You can go anywise. I'm just saying it. This one with... Uh, this one. This one with uh, four with... Uh, which one? Uh, this one. And then this fifth one with, uh, with this one with the fast. Okay? And you have one port extra leaving. So you have joined the whole departments with the router. Okay? Because they said the six departments are there. Now, label your department according to your design plan. So this is how you put, can put a label, this one. So if you put this one, can you see this one? Yeah. So you click here. And let's say you click here. And I'm going to say that this is my admin department. An admin department for me will be, oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is admin, and this is one um, nine two one sixty eight dot one dot zero. Zero. I'll just take one dot zero. Are you understanding? Now take this one, bring it here. Let me take this as what? Two. Yeah, I'll take account first, and I'll say one ninety two one sixty eight dot two dot zero. And then you click here. Then you can say this is what finance. 192, 168.3.0. Like that, you know, you make a planning. This one is like uh, finance, which one, I'll take marketing. You can take in any order, guys. That's 
192.168 here. Dot four dot zero. Yes or no? And this one we will take it as uh, front end. So we're going to say the front end, and uh, this will be 192.168 dot uh, five dot zero. And the last one we don't have space. We're going to put it here. So this is back end, or we can say it also also as it. So 192.168 dot um, no, 168.6.0. It's okay what I mean to say. So now, and then click here the selector. Once you've done it, click on this first one in order to remove any other selecting yes. So we made it, uh, and now, you know, this is just a label. We haven't done the anything configuration. Are you understanding it? So this is what is being done, and we're looking something picture like this. So you need to take this snapshot and put it into your assignment. Okay. Now what we're going to do is let me show you what how to make it work. You know what is the network ID, guys? So what is the usual IP address? One from one to one to what? Two fifty four, isn't it? The first one, one dot one. Okay. You need to the first one, one dot one. Always give it this. Give the IP address one dot one to this this point. Why this point? Because this is called the gateway for all this department. You know, this whole department, this is the gateway. You say, why this is called gateway? Because if this computer want to send the data to the outside world, to the other world, yeah. what will be the first entry point? Okay. Will be this one, isn't it? Yeah. Don't see the switch. Switch is not called the entry point. This one, you understanding it? So this is called the gateway for this department. This is called the gateway for this department. <coughs> this is called the gateway for what? This department. For this department, this is the gateway. Are you understanding it? For this department, this is the gateway. For this department, this is the gateway. So whatever IP address you have taken in 1.1, the first one, always give the IP address to gateway. To the gateway, this one. Yeah, to the router gateway. Now, which port this is, guys? You can see which gate. You know, sometimes if this so don't show you the port, what you do is go to option, preferences, and click on always show port labels. When you say always for show port levels, what will happen is show you all the port. Can you see this? Zero. Now, which port are you, I'm talking about, guys? Zero, zero. Which port I'm talking about? Zero, one. Zero, zero. zero by zero, isn't it? Yeah. I want to do what this one. Say, so if this is 1.0, the first IP address 1.1, one one, I'll give it to what? Which one? Zero, zero. zero, zero. Are you understanding it? How to give is very easy. See, go to the router, go to the config, zero by zero, you said, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So click on it. And give the IP address to that port. What is the IP address? I'll give it 192.168.1.1. First one, guys. You understanding it? And when you click here, subnet mask comes automatically. And the port, guys, the port is off. Can you see this one? Port status is what? Off. That's why by default the port status is off. That's why it gives you red in color. But switch one by default is on. Okay. So I need to switch it on and that become red in color. Okay, now next do the next one. I want to do for this one, guys. So, um, what is the um, if this is 2.0? What is the IP address? I'll give it to this one. 2.1. 2.1. Very good. This is what? Yeah, get me one. One by zero, isn't it? So I'll go to one by zero. You're right. So this one I'll give it as 192.168.2.1. Dot, uh, dot. Yeah. And subnet mask comes automatically, so you go to switch it on, and that comes to green in color. This I have taken as what 3.0, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I would, for 2.0, this one, I'll give us what 192, 168, 68. 68.3. No one. Come on, you going on? <laughs> and then switch it on here. Okay. So that done. This time, this side is done. Now let me do it for which one, guys? This one. Yes. Yeah. So three by zero. I click on three by zero. This IP address I'm going to take it as what? One nine two one sixty eight four dot zero. One one one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. See, they gave me a mistake. They, you can't do that one. Are you sending it? So one nine two one sixty eight dot four dot one. Very good. So this one, and then you see, like you can give this one. Then I'm going to do for this one, guys. Four dot zero. 4.0 is which network? 
zero, isn't it? So if five dot zero, then I have to give one ninety two one sixty eight dot five dot one, and then you switch it on this one. And then this port is which one? This port is five dot zero. You don't have to see this one, guys. This one. So five dot zero, and this one is related to six dot zero network. So I'll take this as one ninety two one sixty eight dot six dot one, and this comes up, and then you switch on this port. You understanding it? So all these port, I have given the IP address, and I have switched on the port. Okay, I have switched on the port now. The designing because they said to design a network for that department. Meaning to say that in reality the company comes to you and say, okay, uh, set up the sixth department for me, the network. This is how you define designing. Real life. This is real time actually. Why the other one not changing? Which one? So now we haven't given IP address to these computers, guys. If you don't give IP address to computers, they won't work. Yeah. Now let's come to I'll show you. I want to give this IP address to this computer. How to give the IP address? Click on that. Okay, I'll go quick now. Oh, sorry. Let me go slow first. Desktop. I want to give the IP address to computer. See how to give the computer. Click on that. Click on what? IP config. And what IP address should I give? Because this network is 1.0. So I'll give this as 192.168.1.2. You can't give 1.1. Why? Because 1.1 you have given to the gateway. Are you understanding it? Yes. Now, subnet mask comes automatically. Okay, because subnet mask comes automatically. Yes. And they are asking you gateway. Gateway, default gateway. So, gateway, now, this will be what? 192. Uh, gateway will be 192.168.1.1. For this one was 1.1, isn't it? Yes. Okay, let's do the another one, guys. Click here. Now give me an int. Let's stop this. Tell me what is IP address I'll give it. 192. 1. No, 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 no. Don't make this like. I'm doing for this same department. 1. 1.3. 1.1 you give it for gateway. 1.1. computer. So this will be 1.3. And then this one, uh, this subnet mask comes automatically. And gateway will be what? The same. Same. Gateway is still same. 192.168.1.1. What? 1.1. One. 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 Gateway. Default yes. gateway. This now, one. see. For both the computers, the gateway is this one. The gateway is same, isn't it? Yes. So yes. now, yeah, once you give this one, so job done, isn't it? Now let's try this one. Let me, I'll be more, we do more practice. This is 2.0. Why don't you come to the, you don't come immediately. Which one? It doesn't, it doesn't show off immediately on the computer, no? Yeah, it shows you that. No, I mean the PC's IP on the computer. Like, uh, they won't each give, computer, they, the won't, IP, the they IP. won't display here yeah, anything. <laughs> How did that mean, sir? They won't display. You can keep the mouse cursor uh -huh. and they show you the IP address here. Uh, okay. That's the IP address and that's the. Um, Dot, uh, sorry. Let's do this one. So this one I'll go desktop. Tell me guys, what should I do? This is department 2.0. Yes. What is the IP address? I'll go to I'll give 192.168.1. Sorry, not 1. It should be what? 2.2. Because 2.1 you're given the gateway. So this is 2.2 and subnet mask comes like this. And the gateway for this one now will be what? 192.168.2.1. Very good. Because now, for this computer, the gateway is this one. Are you understanding it? Yeah. So, which I've given us 2.1. Okay. So, and you can understand from here, from the network only. Whatever is the network IP ID, the first IP address will be the what? Gateway. Gateway. Let's do the other one. If I go here, desktop, this one, and this one is... 192.168.2.3. That's very good. And what is the net? Uh, um, very good. So y'all are perfect now. That's perfect. So do this one. Now let's do this one now. This is 4.0. Uh, this is what? No, this is 3.0. This is 3.0. guys. This one. So 3.0, that means this one I'll give it as what? 192.168.3.what? 3.2. 3.2. 
and then this will be 192, 168, 3.1. Very good. So, uh, okay, I'm not going to see anymore. I'm going to just see, I'll see, like, see. So, this one now, when you go this one, desktop, this one will be what, guys? 192, 168, 168.3.1. Um, uh, 3. Uh, 3. Okay, and then 192, 168.3.1. Very good. Perfect. So this is done. Now let's do it for this one. So we're going to come here. This is for uh, 4.0 network. Yeah. So if four, so 192.168.4.what? 2. 2. Very good. You can't take 4.1 because you're given for the gateway. So 192.168.4.what? 1. one. So done. Let's do it for this one. Desktop. This is coming up. 192.168.4.what? 3. Three. <coughs> The, the moment I'm making mistake, you're making mistake. So 4.1. So this goes there. Now this is 5.network. So we'll take this one, desktop. This one is 192.168.5.1. Sorry. 192.5.168.5.1. And 192.168.5.1. Now this one, when you do this, this one is... 192.168.5.3 dot one. The gateway will be same. Okay, now let's this one 6.0 network. So this is 192.168.6.1 what? 2 192.168.6.1 Perfect. Now this one will be um 192.168.6.3 uh, and then 192.168.6.1. Uh, Are you understanding it? Yeah, there you go. So once you have done this network, your network is complete here. But you, once you give this picture, you have to also show them that is it perfect? Is it meaning, is it working? You have to show them the proof. Yeah. The proof is you, once you click here, this is your status you have to show them. This part. If you click here, it expands here. And this is for the ping command, guys. Now, this ping is called with animated voice. I can show you with uh, ping command also. So, once you do this one, let's say, for example, I click this. First, you show them that is working within the department or not. If I send the packet from here to here, you see saying what? Successful. It shows you what? Successful. You understand it? That means within the department is what? Working. See, if I send here to here, in this department, it's showing successful. If I say this department to this department, successful. Got it? So you need to take a snapshot of this one also. Okay. So, 2.0. Now, if I say from here to here, successful. If I say from here to here, successful. If I say from here to here, that means all within the departments are working. Yeah, now I'm coming to it. Now, if I come from one department, from year to department, it will fail. In no progress, yeah. fail. Now, remember in Cisco Packet Tracer, first time, it will always fail because this is simulation. Okay, you have to try two times or three times at least, every time. So now from the same place, I want to send from year to year, and that's... Now you try many times, there's no problem. Now you try many times. The first time it always gets... Now you say, why to save for the first time? First time they start to learn the network. And they will fail. Okay. Because they don't learn from the beforehand. So when you give the thing, it fails. And this, they think, oh, now I have to learn. So now they learn. No, that's, that. that's the problem in the Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay. You don't need to worry about it. So let's say, for example, let's see. If I send from here to here. In progress, first time is failing up. So one, again, I'm sending from here to here. So you need to sow this packet. And we have successfully designed a real network, guys. This is a real network. So if you want to do a real life, what do you have to do? If I somebody tell you, okay, design a network for this one. So what are you going to do now? You're going to say, okay, okay, let me complete this first. And then because I'll stop the recording and then, um, yeah, you can, we can go a little bit more in the lectures part. So yeah, you saw how the network is being designed. So we want this, we want the snapshot of this and we want the meeting from year to year. You can get this one. You understanding it? Now, you can also ping. If you don't want to ping, you can also ping by command. Now, what is the IP address of this computer? Uh, this was 1.0. I think this was 1.2. Yes or no? 
This one is what? 6 dot this, this will be 6 dot 1, isn't it? 6 dot 2. Now let's say from this computer, you can go to command prompt. Okay. You have everything, guys. When you click on the computer, you come to desktop and you have a command prompt. From this command prompt, I want to ping this one, isn't it? Either you can do with packet or you can do like this. Ping 192.168.1.what? What is it 2, isn't it? See. Did you see something? So this is, this also, you can take this also snapshot as a for ping command. Do you understand it? So how ping command is used, but you can use it in your normal DOS modem to do it. You're, are you getting it here? Now let's say another thing I'm going to do. So I know the IP address of this one is what? I can see the IP address. I can go there. I can go to desktop. I can go to what? IP config. And I can see the IP address. Yes or no? What is the IP address? Let's say I don't know. Let's say I don't know how to find out. You can go to command prompt and you can give what? IP config. So it shows you IP address what? Are you understanding it? Is it clear? Yes. Exactly. Now I want to reach from year to year. You know, like I want to reach from year to year. Are you understanding it? And while reaching, I want to know how they are going, from where to where they're going. And that's the command called trace route, guys. Here. Trace route. So see, I'll give the command call trace rt. I want to reach 192.168.6.2. Are you understanding it? 6.2 meaning which one? This side, isn't it? So see what is giving up? Uh, is giving up C. Their traffic first, the company is going to what? 1.1. Meaning, what I did, guys, uh, from here, I'm trying to reach which one? This one. So it shows trace route meaning, if you want to see the path from where they are going in order to reach, that is called trace route. See, so it's showing you, first it took one millisecond from here to reach to what? 1.1. Which is 1.1, guys? The gateway. Gateway. Are you understanding it? So it goes so it goes to what? Gateway. Are you understanding it? Then it's going to what? Six dot what? Uh, two. So that means it goes six dot two is which one? This one, isn't it? So after going here, then you're going to what? Here. And then from here it went to the computer. Straight there. Are you understanding it? So it shows you the path that you are from the computer when you are trying to send here. First it reached here, then it reached here, and then it what? Reach here. So this is what is the work of trace food. So you can give a picture of this one. Are you understanding it? Did you got my point? I'll make you understand again. One more time. Well, how do you see from one to yeah. this computer is what? One dot two. Yes. This computer is what? Six dot two. I want to when I want to ping from year to year, how the ping is going? I mean how? Is it going from year, then year, or is it going from year like this? What is the path? I want to know the path. So you can go to this one, go to the command prompt, and run a command called, um, yeah, so you're going to say, that's what I said, it's called trace route, and which one do you want to reach, 6.2? First you touch the first one. That's yeah, this time let's say I want to reach 5.2. So see what this says here, when I say 5.2, first the data packet going to 1.1. So 1.1 is which one? 1.1 is this one, isn't it? And then it's going to 5.2. 5.2 is which one? 5.2 is this one. So it comes from here, then it goes to here, and then it goes to... Are you understanding it? So it shows you trust. This is the work. So, you know, like this command, the troubleshooting command, you can pick it from here also. Okay. There's another command called path ping. You can also use path ping. So you can say path ping, and let's say 192, 168 dot, I want to reach 5.2. Okay, now the path ping will not be for, is not working in here because this is simulation. You have to do in your in your in your computer. Are you understanding? Like for example, in your computer. Now let me stop this. So you're clear with this one, guys. So I'm stopping it. 